Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I thought I would just turn the camera on and let it play while I play. Um, I need to get rid of this. <laughs> These are sitting on my desk and they're in my way. It's just kind of one of those little baskets that you just whenever you're finished with something or you cut something off with something and you just chunk it in the basket. And so I have these two little baskets and then I have <laughs> this jar <laughs> uh, full of laces and little pieces and things like that. So um, I've run out of my little, um, well, Andrea called them raggedy bits um, when she did them. Um, it's been a while ago, um, Artie Mays. Um, and I, that's where I originally saw it done. And so I thought I would make a few more today. And I thought I would bring you along with me. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I have this little bag of scraps. This is those, you know, the little white strips that you cut off of your digitals when you print your digitals? Well, instead of throwing them away, we're going to use them. So I'm going to grab a few out. And I need some different size ones. So we're just going to get started in place. So that's all you need. You just need your little bits. Um, I also have a little baggie here that has um, yarn and some cheesecloth in it. From where um, I had gotten some old thread spools. This is not yarn. It's thread. <laughs> I had gotten some old thread spools. And... Um, I got them for the wooden spools, and the thread in them wasn't great. So I just unspooled them and put them in this bag. So we're going to use some of these. Um, I have some tea bags here, too, and some um, cheesecloth and some colored paper. Oh, that's fabric. So we're just going to play and um, make us some raggedy bits so you can make them in all different sizes i usually like to have them about that size because that's really good for you know if you want to put them on the flap of an envelope or whatever so and basically we just need some fabri -Tac and we just start adding bits so that's what we're gonna do i don't think i need that let's use the laces first um, I'm just going to chop some up into little bits. Doesn't matter how they're shaped. They can be any size you want. Get some cheesecloth here. I'm just going to get like a little pile ready. This is coffee dyed cheesecloth that I had um, used in my heirloom journal. So, you know, you use it and you throw it in your little basket or box or whatever. And then, then it starts filling up and spilling over and getting in your way. And so then, you know, it's time to do something with it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay, all right, so the first thing I want to do is, this is a very vintage lace. It's a really, really soft lace. It feels so good. So we're just going to cut us a little piece off of there. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Okay. And then we're just going to start, you know what, I'm going to use my little bottle. Uh, of fabri -Tac because I think that'll work better. So we're just going to add a little glue and start adding our goodies. Now you do get messy when you're doing this because you wind up with your fingers all in the glue and all that good stuff. So I kind of want neutral pieces for this because um I want to be able to use them on different things. So, 
and I kind of want things to just hang off and kind of spill around the um, the paper piece so but you don't want to put too much glue on it one time and then like these little um, tea bags We'll use a piece of that there. Um, what else do we have in here? Got a piece of, woo, and I say here's what happens. You start getting things sticking to you. <laughs> and I really, this is kind of like a, um, a no-think project. Like, I don't think about it. I just kind of throw stuff in there. But I don't always want big pieces. All right, let's come over here and we'll use a little piece of this. I'm just digging through my little bag here. Oh, let's use this piece. Not bag, it's not a bag, it's a box. <laughs> This is a really good way to not only use up your scraps from your digitals, but to also use up your lace scraps and um, your little fabric scraps. You can use fabric. As a matter of fact, let me just find a piece of fabric in here. You can use a piece of this just to kind of show you. And then I have some of these. That's um, These are uh, what? coffee dyed with cinnamon so um, it gives them a grungier look so we'll use a piece of this I got stuff sticking to me again let's do it like that and then let's just I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this And there really doesn't have to be a rhyme or reason behind any of it because you're just playing and having fun. Yep, let's put some of this on here. Now, this is my version of, um, what did I say she called them? Raggedy bits? Yeah. So this is kind of my version. It's not exactly like hers, but if it were, then I would be her, right? Okay, and I'm going to want something right there because we got a little bit of a hole. So, we're going to put some of this um, crazy cloth, or creepy cloth is what it's called. Okay, and then you can put buttons on it, you can put flowers on it, you can... Pretty much whatever you have, you can put on it. It's completely and totally up to you. I generally wait to put embellishments on it till I'm ready to use it, and that way I know what color I need, you know, if I need a color or whatever. So, um, a lot of times I'll wait um, to put any of that on until I know what project I'm using it in. I think that'll be cute right there, and it's been sitting in this little box forever, so let's go ahead and put him on there. If we can get our glue to come out. Okay. Like I say, you're going to get messy doing it. It's a little bit tedious with some of the pieces, but, uh, that's okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in behind there to make sure that that stays down good. Uh, 
that wants to keep pushing forward and I don't want it to. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I tried to zoom in pretty good for you. Okay, we'll cut that little piece off. Alright, and then I want to put something right here on the edge. First off, I need a little glue right there. So see, we need something right here and something on that corner. And again, you do get very sticky doing this. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. I've got this little piece. It's got some glue or something on it, so it'll be perfect to cut off a little piece. And we're just going to cut away that little piece of glue and get rid of it. Okay. the tip of my glue off because it starts getting real goopy. I know I'm not talking a whole lot today, but I don't really, I don't feel very good today. So I'm just kind of in my craft room and um, trying to take it easy. So if I don't talk a whole lot, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to not entertain you. I just don't feel wonderful but I know that my friends will understand okay so we need something in the very corner here and then I think I am gonna go ahead and put some buttons on because um, I know what I'm gonna be using this for so I know what colors I need so but we need something right there and I'm thinking maybe just like a little piece of fabric. Let's do this piece. And we can do it maybe right there. Kind of like that. And then we'll flip that one back over. Here we go. My fingers start getting stuck to it, especially with that creepy cloth. So I bring out the handy dandy fancy tool, the skewer. <laughs> All right, so now I think what I want to do is add a button. I need a little bit bigger of a button. Hang on, let me grab my little tray. Or it's not a tray, it's um it's an antique. This is in my Etsy shop, so if anybody's interested, uh, my Etsy shop, not Etsy, eBay shop. It's in my eBay shop. So if anyone is interested in that, it is in the links below. Okay. And I usually put my buttons on with hot glue just simply because... I don't know. I feel like they stay better. Um, it's more of an instant stick than the Fabri-Tac is. So. Okay, so we'll put a button there. And then maybe, ooh, I like this one. It's clear and kind of rounded up. And it's green, and I'm really into greens lately. So we'll put him right there. glue strings everywhere okay there we go so one down a whole bunch more to go <laughs> so I'm just gonna let the camera play for a little bit while I do these and um, I don't know I might try to see if I can figure out how to um, you know just turn the sound off and just let it play or whatever uh, we'll see okay gotta move the buttons
Mm. I knew I was going to do that. 